the first one is about uh, case teaching, of course, and the second one is about a case I'm currently developing with my PhD supervisor. So uh, regarding the first point, um, the case teaching. So at my university, the University de Chisum, the Geneva School of uh, Economics and Management, case teaching is an essential part of uh, students' learning. So also in the courses I assist um, case teaching, we, we really focus a lot on cases and learning with cases. And um, from the very beginning of my um, TA career, uh, my, my professor, my PhD supervisor advised me to work with the case center and also with the case center databases uh, to get familiar with cases, uh, to, to search for new cases. And um, I think, um, yeah, he always uh, highlighted, and I can definitely confirm this, that the case center is certainly the largest, the most experienced, or even the most renowned um, case institution. So um, I think having, uh, that was one of the main drivers for, for the application for the case teaching scholarship, of course. And, um, yeah, I, I believe that with the case teaching scholarship and the related workshop, uh, we will be able to attend. We, um, I will be a more impactful uh, TA for, for the students, for, for the professor, and for, for our whole school. Um, yeah, I, um, I wanted to talk about the second point I applied for. It's uh, about a new case. So um, as I briefly mentioned, my PhD supervisor and I, we work on a new case. It's about um, organizational design in a multinational, actually a transnational organization. And um, we combine this with uh, strategic leadership topics. And uh, we are planning to teach this case actually very soon. So um, I think it's it's a pretty good timing because I hope that um, the case teaching scholarship will allow us um, to, or will help support us in preparing a teaching program to get feedback on that teaching program. And um, also, of course, to get some visibility for our case, uh, for our topics and the research uh, we are doing. The first thing I want to get out of the scholarship is um, that I, I hope it will allow me to, um, to give back to the students the knowledge and enthusiasm I have experienced when um, studying and teaching with cases. So um, this is uh, the main thing I hope the scholarship will, will allow me to do. And uh, the second thing is um, that having a better understanding of the case teaching method, I hope it will allow me to be a more valuable teaching assistant to my professor. So um, I, I hope that I will be able to more effectively um, assist um, the teaching of his own cases or our own cases and the cases of others. And in addition to this, I think that the scholarship will not only make me more confident in teaching cases, but also in other academic situations. So for instance, in research talks or research conferences. So um, therefore I believe that the case teaching scholarship will benefit my whole um, academic career. And um, there's a last thing um, I want to get out of the scholarship. It's of course to connect to other case teachers and TAs, um, always having a mind to, to exchange experiences and to learn from each other. But I'm, I'm very confident that the case teaching scholarship and the workshop uh, will help me to, to solve them or to find answers to, to those concerns. So the concerns, um, the first concern is about case preparation, of course. What are the essential elements um, as a case, case teacher for preparing a case? Um, this also concerns uh, the complexity of cases, right? Uh, often cases are, are lengthy, are 
highly complex. So I believe um, it would be, or for me personally, it would be really helpful to, to, to get to know some, some tricks, how to reduce complexity for myself in preparation and also later for students to help them managing complexity. Um, and another, the third concern is, um, is about um, how to create um, students' attention and interest in cases and the, the topics they want to want to relate to. Um, this is um, this also relates how to uh, relates to the topic and how to actually create uh, a real life case simulation in class. Uh, Maybe there are some, some hints um, we can talk about. And uh, it also relates to a topic that is, uh, I think, very important and um, how to make students more confident in, in speaking up and in actually participating in, in case discussions in class. And then uh, another concern that I think is, is quite timely is about the different means or the different ways how to discuss cases. So when we talk about um, case oral case discussion in classes, or if we talk about written case assignments, or maybe even virtual case simulations. So uh, what are the main differences and what situations um, shall we use uh, one over the other? And um, yeah, I think that would be uh, would be also helpful for us. Mm -hmm. The last concern I have about case teaching, and I hope the case teaching workshop will um, help me in, in finding a good answer is how to evaluate best uh, the students when they work with cases. So um, do I look at their participation or is it, um, shall I focus on written assignments, a combination of those, and then um, in the last step, how to give them efficient and fair feedback. Uh, 